Now we know the content creator just Ivy. Originally we knew her from over 25. And then as all groups go, she branched out on her own. I feel like sometimes it's always inevitable, you know? It it's really always a, a group that's doing their own thing. And now we have just Ivy doing her own content creation. We have the other girl with her podcast. Okay, I don't know their name. I, I wasn't really into the over 25 thing. I was still a baby. But mm -hmm. now maybe I can rewatch those episodes because I am now over 25. Zayo. Damn. Anyway, this time she was talking about when she was working for corporate before she branched out and started doing content creation as a full-time gig. She says, um, uh, I think society expects of us, especially when you're a woman and you're in a position of power, that you have to exude this confidence, this masculine vibe, this... I mean, power. This, the devil wears Prada, you know? Alpha female is equal to very mean, very bold, exactly. very bossy. You know, you're always, your thoughts and your opinions, you're going to voice them immediately. You're not going to take in consideration what other people are feeling. And I think all of us have kind of experienced such a boss, you know? She will be out there, she will power trip whenever she wants to. She will just do the most, and you're like, damn, who hurt you? But at the same time, you also understand that her in a position of, of power is feeling the pressure from everyone around. They are feeling like, because I'm in this position, there's a certain persona I have to be. There's a certain thing I have to exude towards other people so that you don't start looking down upon me. So that when I give um, a directive, you don't come and second guess it and ask me, what are, you, what are you talking about? You know, you just don't want that friction with other employees. So you just go on another you know trajectory and you're just a mean boss you might think you're coming off as confident and a girl boss double wears prada but basically you're just being mean to everyone around you and using your power to intimidate other people and she says she thought that is what being a boss is you know you can the work you don't want to do you give it to somebody else if it's an argument you shut it down really quickly you know those have you experienced those bosses with comebacks? You know, mm. you can't even voice an opinion in, in the conference room because it's something mean that's going to be, you know, um, bounced back to you. And she says, I used to think that being a female boss, uh, a woman to exert power, it means you have to be mean to people. However, when she got into her job, they did an anonymous exercise where everybody wrote down anonymously what it is they think about their colleague. Who? I think we should do it here in our job, okay? <laughs> and it was in that time that I felt humbled because it felt like I had, I had been punched in the gut. I was humbled when I realized nobody enjoyed working with me. And you know, sometimes when you're doing all of that, your ego is telling you, these people respect the hell out of you, you know? They know you're the boss, so they understand why you're doing what you're doing. So now when you realize, damn, these people don't like me, you know? I have been mean to all, but what do you expect after all? You've been mean to, this other pe to these people, obviously they're going to feel some type of way. And after um, she realized that, she said uh, that people did not want to work with me. I started moving from the attitude of boss to the attitude of a leader and leading from behind. However, it wasn't like an overnight thing. It's not like you discover, wow, and then you start working and it becomes an overnight shift in, uh, shift in personality. She goes on to say, self-awareness is key in my journey towards becoming a better person and thus a better leader. And it's very proper and it's very important to know yourself. Self-awareness, because sometimes, have you ever been in a conversation with somebody and they say something or they do something or they treat somebody else in a, in a certain way and you're like, Jesus Christ, do you not know who you are? Like, do you not realize what you're doing to other people as you're doing it? There are people who are just completely unaware of what they're doing as they're doing it. They think this is correct. This is how people should be treated. This is how I should talk to people. And then when you correct them, they're like, oh, what do you mean? I never realized that. So sometimes they're not playing dumb. They genuinely are not self-aware. Is it your responsibility to bring self-awareness to them? No, they should discover it on their own. However, don't let them 
their lack of self-awareness be the reason for them to, you know, do the things they do to you. And you just take it and like, ah, anakuanga ivo. Call people out. When somebody is being mean, call them out. When somebody is saying something out of character for no reason, call them out. Yeah. Yeah, I really like the... Um the conversation because we see it a lot especially in women mm -hmm. there's a big difference between being an alpha female and being a horrible b of a boss mm -hmm. you know and that line is often crossed and people are like no but this is what i need to showcase in order for people to see my power exercise my power but an alpha female is nothing close to that an alpha mm -hmm. female is just an ambitious person who is very very keen on making sure that her um, effect on her businesses or whatever she employs herself into becomes successful it is a sign of ambition from a female and it can often be intimidating to both men and women alike mm -hmm. however it does not mean intimidation is equivalent to putting the fear of god in everyone True. intimidating people is often like you're over there you're doing your thing and people are like damn i wish i was like her why wow, i can't wait to be to be on her level or why wow, she's a she's a very powerful person mm -hmm. putting the fear of god in people is the equivalent equivalent of you cannot leave you know what the japanese system is with bosses yeah where if the boss does not leave the you office cannot leave you cannot them. leave before them mm. where if even if they're going through whatever they're going through you don't know what your boss is going through maybe he's argued with his wife and now he wants to stay in the office all he's doing is playing music and and watching youtube videos guess what you're also in that office and you have to stay there until they leave that is just putting the fear of god in someone that's not a power move that is not alpha that is just being super mean and completely making people um disrespect you as they're trying to kind of navigate around you yeah. you find a lot of people become manipulative they kiss um you're behind because they just want you to get to get it over and done with and then keep it moving to the next thing mm. so that is horrible if you are trying to find the balance between alpha female and powerful um sorry alpha female and a total b that is the difference now i also like the fact that she's saying it now remember mm. there was a whole dramatic thing that happened with with um what was her name mandy throwdown yeah when people were over there exposing her on socials calling her all kinds of b words and whatever i think sometimes it's also like in in self-reflection there are some things we share as a way of mitigating an issue because mm -hmm. even if now someone said oh yeah she was a total b to me she like, you, yeah, you know she, she bullied me she did it whatever we're like yeah we already knew that she said it didn't she mm -hmm. don't do that don't be those people who go ahead of the story or get ahead of the story in order to like mitigate the effects once the story is leaked by uh, in, in the, going forward mm -hmm. just be a good person you don't have to be an um like all the words that I have are cuss words. Yeah. You don't have to be an annoying, a, annoying, intolerable, uh, extreme person for you to succeed in business or for you to succeed in anything and for you to gain respect out of people. You can just mm -hmm. be a respectful person who knows their boundaries and all. Like there are so many ways of being a powerful person and achieving your goals and not all of them involve shooting everyone that comes in your way. Do you know True. what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Don't make people want to run away from work simply because you exist. It's, it's kind of crazy and it happens all the time.